Hi, everyone. Today we're exploring how fighter jets work. You're on Fighter Force. Like, subscribe, and join us for more amazing aviation content. Fighter jets are among the most advanced flying machines ever created. And at the core of their design lies the science of flight. To understand how they work, we need to examine the four main forces acting on any aircraft. Lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Lift is the upward force that allows the jet to rise into the sky. It is generated by the wings, which are carefully shaped with what engineers call an airfoil. When the aircraft moves forward, air travels faster over the curved upper surface of the wing and slower underneath. Faster airflow above means lower pressure, and the pressure difference creates lift. Unlike commercial airplanes with wide wings, fighter jets often have thinner and sharper wings designed for speed and agility rather than comfort. Weight is the natural pull of gravity on the aircraft. Engineers design the structure of a fighter to be as light as possible while still being strong enough to withstand extreme forces. Many modern jets use composite materials like carbon fiber or titanium alloys that combine strength with low weight. Balancing lift and weight is essential. Too heavy and the jet cannot climb. Too light and it becomes unstable in turbulence. Thrust comes from powerful jet engines, usually turbofan or turbojet types. The principle is straightforward but incredibly effective. Air is sucked into the engine, compressed by rotating fans, mixed with fuel, and ignited. The explosion forces gases out the back at tremendous speed, creating forward push according to Newton's third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In fighter jets, thrust can reach tens of thousands of pounds, allowing them to accelerate almost vertically if needed. Some engines are also equipped with afterburners, which inject additional fuel into the exhaust to produce bursts of extra power, essential during takeoff or combat maneuvers. Drag is the resistance caused by air as the aircraft moves through it. Just like when you put your hand out of a moving car window, the faster the jet flies, the stronger the drag. Designers reduce drag by shaping the aircraft's body into a sleek, aerodynamic form, minimizing surfaces that disturb airflow. This not only improves speed, but also reduces fuel consumption, extending the jet's range in combat missions. One of the most dramatic aspects of fighter flight is the ability to travel at supersonic speeds, faster than the speed of sound, or roughly 1,135 kilometers per hour at sea level. When this barrier is broken, Shockwaves form around the aircraft, producing the famous sonic boom. Flying in this regime requires special design features, such as swept back wings and pointed noses, to handle the intense aerodynamic stress. The first aircraft to break the sound barrier was the Bell X-1 in 1947, but today's fighters routinely cruise near or beyond Mach 2, which is twice the speed of sound. The interaction of these four forces, lift, weight, thrust, and drag, explains the basic ability of a fighter jet to take off, fly, and maneuver. But unlike civilian airplanes, fighters are designed to push the limits of physics. They operate at the edge of what materials and engines can endure, demanding absolute precision in engineering. Understanding flight principles is the foundation for exploring how they achieve incredible agility, carry advanced weapons, and protect their pilots in the most challenging environments. If speed allows a fighter jet to reach its target, maneuverability ensures that it can survive and dominate in aerial combat. The ability to turn quickly, climb steeply, or roll into evasive maneuvers often makes the difference between success and failure in a dogfight. While civilian aircraft prioritize stability and comfort, fighter jets are designed to be agile, even unstable, so that pilots can execute extreme movements that surprise the enemy. Aerodynamic shape plays a crucial role in maneuverability. The sharp nose, slender fuselage, 
and thin wings reduce drag while allowing smooth airflow at high speeds. Many fighters use delta wings or swept back wings that help maintain control at both subsonic and supersonic regimes. Tail fins and canards, which are small forward wings, add extra stability or agility depending on the design philosophy. Each part of the jet's surface is carefully engineered so that the aircraft can remain responsive even when pulling sharp turns under enormous stress. The pilot controls these movements with the help of control surfaces. Ailerons on the wings tilt the aircraft left or right, enabling rolls. Elevators on the tail control pitch, allowing the jet to climb or dive. And rudders on the vertical tail fin adjust yaw or left-right movement. In older jets, these surfaces were connected to the pilot's stick and pedals by mechanical linkages or hydraulics. Modern fighters, however, rely on fly-by-wire systems in which pilot inputs are interpreted by a computer. The computer instantly calculates the safest and most efficient way to move the control surfaces, ensuring the jet responds with precision. This allows designers to create aircraft that are naturally unstable in flight, something that would be impossible for a human to control manually. Instability translates into agility, giving modern fighters lightning-fast reactions. Another breakthrough in maneuverability is thrust vectoring. In conventional jets, the engine exhaust always exits straight out the back. But with thrust vectoring nozzles, the exhaust stream can be directed up down or sideways. This means the engine itself can help steer the aircraft, not just push it forward. Fighters equipped with this technology, such as the F-22 Raptor or the Russian Su-35, can perform dramatic maneuvers like the Cobra, where the nose suddenly pitches upward without losing forward momentum. These stunts are not just for air shows. They demonstrate an ability to evade missiles or gain a critical angle on an opponent in combat. Of course, maneuverability is not limitless. Every sharp turn generates enormous g-force, pressing the pilot into the seat with many times their body weight. At 9g, a pilot weighing 80 kilograms can feel a force of more than 700 kilograms pushing against them. To endure this, pilots wear special g-suits that inflate and squeeze the body preventing blood from leaving the brain and reducing the risk of blacking out. Even with this equipment, extreme maneuvers demand both physical training and mental focus. In the end, maneuverability is a delicate balance of design, technology, and human endurance. It is what gives a fighter jet its edge in combat, allowing it not only to fly fast, but also to fight and survive in the unforgiving environment of the skies. A fighter jet is not just a fast and agile aircraft. It is also a flying weapons platform capable of striking targets in the air, on the ground, or at sea. Its offensive power combines guns, missiles, and sometimes bombs, all integrated into a sophisticated system designed for maximum effectiveness. The most basic weapon on a fighter is the built-in cannon, usually a rapid-fire gun capable of shooting hundreds of rounds per minute. Unlike the rockets of early aircraft, modern cannons use high-velocity ammunition to hit fast-moving targets in aerial combat. The gun is often mounted internally in the fuselage to maintain aerodynamics, and some jets allow the pilot to aim it with advanced targeting systems linked to their cockpit displays or helmet-mounted sights. Missiles are the primary long-range weapons of fighters and are divided into two main categories, air-to-air -air and air-to-ground. Air-to-air missiles are designed to seek out and destroy other aircraft. They can be guided by radar, infrared sensors, or a combination of both. Radar-guided missiles lock onto the target's electromagnetic signature, while infrared-guided missiles track the heat of the target's engines. Modern fighters can carry multiple missiles, allowing them to engage several targets simultaneously. Air-to-ground missiles and bombs, on the other hand, allow the jet to strike strategic positions, armored vehicles, or installations. 
Precision guided munitions use GPS, laser designators, or infrared targeting to hit a specific point with minimal collateral damage. These weapons are often released from hard points under the wings or fuselage, and their deployment is carefully managed by the jet's computer systems to maintain stability during flight. Guidance and targeting are critical to a fighter's combat effectiveness. Advanced radar systems scan the environment for potential threats, tracking multiple targets at once. Sensors can detect heat, movement, and electronic signals, providing real-time information to the pilot. Helmet-mounted displays allow the pilot to aim weapons simply by looking at the target, drastically reducing reaction times in high-speed combat. In addition to offensive capabilities, many fighters also carry countermeasures to protect themselves while attacking. Chaff and flares can confuse incoming missiles, while electronic warfare systems can jam enemy radar or communications. These defensive measures are integrated into the weapon systems, ensuring the jet can both strike and survive in the most dangerous airspace. Ultimately, the combination of guns, missiles, bombs, and advanced targeting systems makes the fighter jet a versatile and deadly tool. Its weapons are not just attachments, but an integral part of the aircraft's design, turning speed and maneuverability into effective firepower in modern warfare. Fighter jets are not only designed to strike targets, but also to survive in extremely hostile environments where enemy fire, missiles, and radar systems constantly threaten them. Defense and survival systems are just as important as weapons and maneuverability, allowing the aircraft and pilot to operate safely, even under intense combat conditions. One of the most significant defensive innovations is stealth technology, which reduces the aircraft's visibility to enemy radar. Stealth design involves shaping the fuselage, wings, and tail to reflect radar waves away from the source, using radar absorbent materials and carefully controlling heat emissions. Stealth does not make a jet invisible, but it delays detection, giving the pilot precious seconds to act, evade, or attack before the enemy can respond. Another critical aspect is electronic warfare, often called EW or REB, Radio Electronic Battle, in some contexts. Modern fighters carry equipment capable of jamming, deceiving, or disrupting enemy radar and missile systems. This includes radar jammers that emit signals to confuse tracking systems, decoy transmitters that mimic the aircraft's radar signature, and advanced software to interfere with incoming guided missiles. These systems work in real time, automatically detecting threats and activating countermeasures without requiring constant manual input from the pilot. In addition to electronic protection, physical countermeasures like flares and chaff play a crucial role. Flares are bright burning devices ejected from the aircraft to attract infrared-seeking missiles, while chaff consists of tiny metal strips dispersed into the air to create false radar targets. These simple but highly effective tools can divert enemy fire and increase the aircraft's chances of escaping unharmed. The pilot's safety is also a central concern. Fighter jets are equipped with ejection seats designed to save the pilot in case of emergency. Ejection seats use explosive charges or rockets to rapidly propel the pilot out of the aircraft, even at high speeds or altitudes. Advanced seats are fitted with stabilization systems, automatic parachute deployment, and survival kits to increase the chance of landing safely in hostile or remote areas. Surviving in combat also depends on situational awareness, which modern jets achieve through sensor fusion. Data from radar, infrared cameras, electronic warfare systems, and even satellite links are combined to give the pilot a comprehensive picture of threats and friendly units. Cockpit displays and helmet-mounted systems allow instant access to this information, helping the pilot make split-second decisions in fast-moving engagements. Furthermore, fighter design includes redundancy and protection against battle damage. 
Critical systems are often duplicated, so if one fails due to enemy fire, the other can take over. Some jets have self-sealing fuel tanks to prevent fires, reinforced cockpits to protect the pilot, and modular components that can be quickly repaired or replaced. The integration of stealth, electronic warfare, countermeasures, pilot safety systems, and redundant engineering creates a multi-layered defense. A fighter jet does not rely on a single technology to survive. It combines many strategies to operate in environments where threats can appear from any direction at any moment. This holistic approach ensures that the jet remains combat effective while maximizing the chances of returning home safely. In the modern battlefield, speed and firepower are vital, but without advanced defensive and survival systems, even the fastest and most powerful aircraft would be vulnerable. These protective measures allow fighter jets to fulfill their missions with confidence, making them not just offensive weapons, but resilient platforms capable of enduring the challenges of modern aerial warfare. Fighter jets represent the pinnacle of aviation engineering, combining speed, agility, firepower, and advanced technology into a single, highly capable platform. Throughout their design, every element, from the wings that generate lift, to the engines that produce immense thrust, to the weapons and defensive systems, is carefully engineered to maximize performance in combat. Understanding how fighter jets operate gives insight not only into aerodynamics and engineering, but also into the strategic thinking behind modern air warfare. These aircraft are not merely machines. They are extensions of the pilot, translating human skill and decision-making into extreme physical performance at incredible speeds. While weapons and maneuverability enable them to dominate the skies, the defensive and survival systems ensure that both the pilot and the aircraft can operate safely in dangerous environments. The integration of stealth, electronic warfare, countermeasures, and emergency systems demonstrates that survival in aerial combat requires as much planning and technology as offensive capabilities. Fighter jets are a testament to human innovation, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in engineering, material science, and avionics. They allow countries to maintain control of the skies, defend their territories, and project power where needed. Ultimately, these aircraft are symbols of precision, resilience, and advanced technology, representing a careful balance of speed, strength, and intelligence. For anyone observing them in action, fighter jets are not just vehicles. They are machines that embody the cutting edge of human knowledge, capable of operating in environments that challenge both humans and machines to their very limits. They remind us that the art of flight is not only about getting from point A to point B, but about mastering the skies with ingenuity, courage, and the most sophisticated technology available. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Fighter Force and don't miss our future videos on the most powerful fighter jets and aviation tech.